Coach, so uh, you didn't grab two points this past weekend. Um, what was your message to your team uh, coming out of uh, the games against Augustana? Well, there were mixed emotions. I mean, uh, it really, <clears throat> years ago, um, I would have uh, been very vocal, and uh, but now I've matured, <laughs> and uh, you know, and I just let it slide. I, um, uh, I just waited a day or so to think things over, and and really, our goal was to finish in the top four, and we did that. Um, and thanks to uh, Concordia losing a two to to Grant McEwen, you know. But at the end of the day, everybody plays uh, 16 games in the first half, and so right. in the end, we ended up in, in fourth. Uh, and it wasn't from really a lack of uh, effort by the team. I, I think that every aspect of the team uh, need, needs to improve. And, and I've talked to most of the players in that uh, when we get scoring opportunities, we need to score. Mm -hmm. um, and really, to me, there's no difference between missing a wide open net than a goalie letting in a weak one or a defenseman missing an assignment and they score a goal. It's the same thing. Uh, if you don't score, uh, it's a huge mistake, right? So, sure. so there was those mistakes, there was defense mistakes, and there was goaltending wasn't as strong as we'd like it to be. So, they all understand that, and we all know that it, those are those are uh, uh, things that we can fix. It's mm -hmm. not like as if we're out skilled or, or you know, we've got everything. All the components are still there: the right. size, the skill, uh, the defense, the goaltending. It's all there. It's just now we just need to uh, regroup. Uh, this break couldn't have come at a better time. As I said, November is a bad uh, time for everybody. And then actually, I was talking to a, uh, a coach in Williston, and then his team is struggling in, uh, right now in November. And uh, and he's got a lot of uh, players that are imports from you know from all over the country there. So so it's it's a it's a normal type of a reaction. Christmas is around the corner, sure. and, and and the players are homesick. So um, so yeah, as, as disappointing as it was, uh, we're still still in the in the top four. Uh, and uh, looking forward to the second half. Right. Yeah, I mean, you talked about uh, being in the top four and that being your goal. Uh, it seems that there's a bit of maybe internal pressure amongst this team uh, that, you know, they're, they're hoping for a bit of a better result. Is, in terms of teams you've coached, how competitive is this team? Well, you know what? Everybody competes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like, um, you know... Uh, Everybody gives 100%, but it's the quality of the 100%. Okay. Now, if, if, if you're just an average player uh, giving 100%, well, you can improve the quality of your, your 100% to be an even better regular player. If you're uh, one of the stars on the team and uh, you give your, your 100%, uh, you're giving your 100%, but the quality can improve, and all of a sudden you're a superstar, you know? So, so okay. we just, they need to, to sort of refocus and and and, um, and really, um, uh, the competitiveness is no different from year to year. It just depends on, on the type of teams you have, and and, and this is the, probably the most skilled team we've had. Uh, it's not the biggest, or well, it'll be equivalent to our first year. We were a very big team. I think uh, defensively, um, we don't have the depth that we've had as far as defense goes. Especially last year before uh, Christmas, I thought we had a very good defensive team, and uh, as far as the D-man goes, so. Uh, and then we lost uh, six of them. So, um, so right now, uh, you know, it's it's uh, compared to other teams. Th this team has the ability to go a lot farther in, in the playoffs. Let me put it that way. Okay. Uh, you know, we've we've got more depth in the four positions. Um, our defensemen are getting better by the day. No, we still have a quality. You know, three to four quality defensemen that that that. Um, uh, are strong in their own end. It's just we, we just lack the depth because of the, a lot of the new players on defense. Mm -hmm. we, we, we've had all eight defensemen. So, and our goaltending has never been there. We haven't had the type of goaltending uh, uh, in the last five years like we have now. So, so it's just a matter of, I, I've had meetings with the goaltenders and, and they know that they can do better and, and they understand that. And, and the defense know that, you know, injuries hurt. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, Kipling has been out all year and, and then uh, Cote had his injury and took him out of line. So, uh, um, you know, Kipling hasn't played any games, but Cote, uh, you know, he was a big part of the top four. Sure. So you lose him, and, and uh, you know, and the flu what came through, and so there was a lot of excuses if you want, but no one's really talked about them. So uh, I think everybody goes through that. I think that once everybody comes back, uh, you know, the season is only 12 games now, 
and it's uh, plus the playoffs, so the kids will be rejuvenated. They'll be, mm. uh, you know, they're, they're going to be ready to go. Okay. Um, any thoughts at all on shifting some of the, the line assignments around? Or any have you have you had any ideas um, on that regard? Yeah, it's it's already been done. Uh, we're I'm sort of exper- we started yesterday experimenting with the, some new line mates. So there's nothing okay. really uh, uh, in stone. The only thing that's going to still be the same is the Drew line. With, yeah, with Gail, mess with yeah, with Gail and Anderson, that one's staying the same. Uh, I have talked to some of the players like uh, uh, Gettys, and I had discussed with him a little bit about, you know, his thoughts, and and um, I talked to uh, you know uh, uh, Maves a bit about what he thought about it. Uh, um, Cameron, Richard Cameron. I mean, mm-hmm. so I've got I, I like to get their input as well, uh, and uh, there's no sense putting somebody on their line. Uh, that they don't want on their line, and I'm talking about the centermen. I mean, they're the key guys. They're sort of the leaders of the line and the, the spokesman, I guess you could say, for the line usually. So, so I get their ideas, and, and then I just basically look at, at um, you know, who I'd like to see with who, and and, and uh, have my input and, and what I feel will work and won't work. And so, uh, uh, so that's already been done. Uh, we'll, we're going to be working with that this weekend and to see what the new lines look like. And uh, I'm excited about it because now. Uh, there's a few uh, a few players that I thought wouldn't gel, but they've gelled, okay. and already. So uh, you know that's that's uh, that's awesome. So it's just a matter of uh, of seeing if uh, if it's going to be cons- they're going to be consistent. Okay, so we can expect maybe a a couple switches uh, come January. Yeah, no, that'll definitely happen for sure. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this coming weekend. I know ACAC games are finished until January. But uh, you guys are taking a bit of a road trip, exhibition-wise, into North Dakota, play some exhibition games. So uh, let's let's chat a bit about that. Sure. Well, uh, it's uh, Williston State College uh, Tetons, or it's called. Okay. And I think a Teton is a buffalo. I don't know what a Teton it, is. Yeah, it's uh, that's that's my guess. <laughs> um, because they got a buffalo crest, so uh, it's a it's a it's a new franchise that they're 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 getting into a D- D- Division Three. Okay. Uh, that's what their goal is, and next year they're going to uh, 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 start their uh, their their program. This year, uh, one of the prerequisites of getting into a Division Three program is that the first year you just play exhibition games only. Oh, okay. So that's what they're doing right now. So they play Division One teams, they play uh, junior colleges, mm-hmm. um, uh, basically anybody they'll play. Sure. So um, so they they're uh, you know look they're looking for someone to play all the time. So. So uh, you know it was it worked out really well. Um, you know we've just finished and, and it's a long break for us. So we thought well we would shorten the break at least by a week. And so we're going to go down there. We're not sure exactly what uh, uh, they have as far as uh, players go. I, I know that we've played uh, Division Three before and and uh, out of what is it two four six games uh, we've only lost one okay. uh, over the years. So so we'll see. Uh, uh, I looked over their roster. Uh, you know they've got. Average size and, and their record right now is seven and one. They okay. won't, they've only played eight games, uh, but uh, uh, really, that, you know, I, I don't know the caliber of teams they're playing. So uh, you know, we'll have a better a better opportunity to see that on Friday. But uh, you know, if you're trying to get into a Div three team uh, a league, you know, ultimately you need to do your homework. And, and I think uh, that uh, Wilson's got deep pockets, so they're they're recruiting and they get to recruit all over the the, the United sure. States. So. So they're bound to uh, um, uh, get some quality guys. They've got some Canadians on the team, and, and actually they have one defenseman that I tra- chased all summer. And, really? But he's an American, and, and it, was, it made more sense for him to stay sure. uh, in, uh, in, in the States. And actually his dad was a famous linesman that uh, just retired after, I don't know, 2,000 games or something in the really? NHL. So, okay. so that would have been a kind of a nice little uh, uh, issue, not an issue, but a, uh, something to write about. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, I, like looking over the roster, it's hard to tell. Um, and then again, you know, uh, when we, the last time I played a, a Div three team, uh, we, we beat them pretty good. I think it was ten three or something like that. And, and they usually had a strong team that was Emmy Spot note. And uh, and I asked them, you know, you, you know, your team is not as strong as it's been in the past. And they said, not enough Canadians on the team. Really? So uh, ultimately, <laughs> you know, help. they don't have a lot of Canadians on this team that they're we're playing. So we'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, but everybody's uh, looking forward to it. It's uh, you know, just to get away now. Uh, yeah. And then sure. the guys, the players, will be coming back and getting ready for the finals. 
Okay. Well, definitely a chance to maybe try out a few line combinations like you were saying. Now, uh, is, is Brett Kipling going to make the trip to North Dakota or is he still kind of uh, iffy on that? No, he's, he's definitely not. Uh, okay. He's still probably another month probably away. Ah. So that puts him back, uh, right into the start of the season. So he'll be practicing us, with us when we start come back after the new year. Okay. And we fully expect him to be in the lineup. Awesome. All right. Well, best of luck in North Dakota, and uh, this will be us signing off for 2012, and we'll be back in 2013. Great. I look forward to it. You got me, girl. You got, you got me.